Fila at 42 years of age, one of the older fighters on anybody's card. He is the shorter fighter as well, but he does have a two-inch reach advantage over Honario. We don't know if that will play much into Honario's game if he gets it on the ground again. Fila, the wrestler, has seven of his 13 wins by way of knockout. Yes, and I get the, the two, the two-inch and a quarter reach advantage in the hands. I think with a guy who has no power in his hands, could make a big difference. Let's go to Jazz now with the official introductions. Here we go, World Series of Fighting Fight Fans. This fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Five Way Division. And now introducing Fight Out of the Blue Corner. His record, eight wins, four defeats. He stands five feet and seven inches tall. He weighed in at an even 126 pounds. He fights out of the fighting city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Introducing Sidemar, Sidecar. Now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His record, 13 wins versus 4 defeats, 7 coming by way of knockout. He stands 5 feet 4 inches tall and also weighed in at 126 pounds even. He fights out of Miami, Florida, an Olympic bronze medalist presenting Alexis the Exorcist. When the deck gone cage door closes, your referee is Jorge Ortiz. Here we go. Scattered for three rounds. Flyweights. Honorio. And the shorter gray trucks in the green is Vila. I expect him to be very explosive. You can already see him bouncing around. He's going from 0 to 60 in 0 0.2 seconds or something. Wow. He's there. Well, with flyweights, you just kind of wind them up and they go and go yeah. and go. Give him a little drum. Well, now we'll try to measure that kick missing with it. Feeling each other out. Got the longest reach while well, we know that on paper, but you know, who uses his body more? Maybe Honorio rotates his upper body more, so that will make his reach also longer. There's a lot of factors. And he's obviously the tall fighter as Vila comes in and misses with a couple. Very nicely done by Honorio. Move to the side, never straight back. This is very important, especially to get the wrestler. Then they can take a clean shot. on the World Series of Fighting back in September. Bonario who yeah. suffered a decision, lost to Rivera. It was a very tough fight. Flip set kick out doesn't affect Vila. No, but it came very close already. He's come close now twice. He just missed. That one touched him a bit. Finding his range, slowly but surely, he drew his pen against him. In a world <laughs> where that kick is going in, this fight would end that fast. By the way, good takedown defense from Monario here, uh, like a couple of seconds ago. Double on roof, pull the field and back up, and out to reach again. Take a training in Enzo Gracie's outfit. You uh, probably seen a few yeah. submission attempts. Yeah. You take down attempts over his training time. You better believe it. There's the high kick again. You know, a nice thing would be setting it up, the punch. Then you can see what you're going to do, because if you punch and he moves back a lot, you don't kick. But if he just moves outside your reach, then it's time for that high kick. He's used that kick almost like a jab at times, boss, to yep. keep below away. You know, just to show him it's there. 
You know, if you want to shoot, maybe you're going to walk on a knee. Maybe something happens with the kick. You know, get inside the head of his opponent. You know, when you fight wrestling, it comes you fake that you're going to throw a knee. You know, it make him, makes him think uh, twice. Oh, wait a minute, if I shoot and he throws a knee, I might get the knee on my, on my chin. You know, so. There's nothing worse than getting put doubt <laughs> in somebody's head. This is weird because you know, Vila has a long reach. Oh, Vila oh. now slams Mario to the canvas. Yeah, first takedown of the fight. Vila also lost one fighter submission. Here comes the attempt already. Look at this. Uh oh. And up almost as quickly. Vila with three submission victories. Mario with two submission wins. But I would say, trading with Andrew Gracie, the, those guys there, Mario probably. He'll be better on the ground. He's got longer limbs, you know, better setups for triangles, for everything, body locks, put body locks on. That all will favor him. Of course, uh, getting locked up with a straight arm bar when you've got longer limbs, that's maybe not so good. When you look at their, their bodies, you, you never say that Vila has the reach advantage, right? It looks like, oh, nice front kick there to the face. Looks to me like Honorio. Has the longer reach, longer arm. It does. He's the taller fighter for certain by yeah. about almost three inches. But he does look like he has more reach. Now grabbing the single leg is Vila. Yeah, Vila knows it. I don't want to go down. Not yet. Yeah, he's right. He doesn't even want to go that way at this moment. He respects his ground game. Half a minute. Well, Mario has come close with his kicks. He's thrown. Probably eight or ten of those right now, I would say, in this fight. Uh, Kim Close, he, uh, the front kick was hit. You know, the high kick started getting on the defense now. It's a good sign. He lets his opponent miss the kicks. Vila trying to fly in to no avail, and round one comes to an end. Again, good luck judging that one. Honorio feels he did well in that round. I think so, too. I think he connected with more, two more kicks that connected. That was on the defense or not. He sets up that armbar, but he pulls it. Vila's going to pull it out right away here, pretty much. Vila oh. with the only takedown in the fight. As we look in on the corner of the former Olympic wrestler from Cuba. Makes his home now in Miami. He hit another takedown, but he didn't do anything with it. He said, you know what? I get back up the feet. What do you think they're saying in Honorio's corner right now after that first round, boss? If you look at, it? you're doing good job. I would, I would, I would say, start uh, adding a kick after a punch instead of single kicking. You know, blind the guy, keep him busy with, with your punches, and then flip out a high kick. What about a left, a left spate to the body with the right high kick? Those things are very tricky. A lot of guys bring their hands down at the moment you do that, and then you go on top with the high kick. And we go to round two. Vila needs to go in and out fast. He needs to look for the clinch. And he needs to work from there. Maybe a clinch position. So raining down knees uh, to the legs. What I mean, that's what I'm saying. Raining down. Because this is very effective for a sugar fighter. Vila in the green trunks. This fight scheduled for three rounds. That first round, possibly to Valerio. Yeah, but I see I'm asking. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Kenny. I, I was still in my way of thing. It, it, it is a hard one. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I was still in my comment when I said, you know, raining down knees to the body is, is better for the, the short fighter. That is, of course, when it's in clinch. That's one of what I was talking about. I was still with my head in there. But, you know, I, I, this is a very hard one. I think Honorio might have taken the first one. That was your question, I hope. It was. Oh, good. <laughs> it didn't mean to interrupt. No, no, it was good. I know. Yeah. I, I was thinking. Well, it's not like the rhythm of this fight. It's really a strange fight, is it? We had kick and throw, but no damaging, no damaging strikes. We had one takedown. It didn't last long. Yeah. Uh, a weak submission attempt. Uh, but it's an entertaining fight. You know, you figure at any moment something big could happen with these little guys. That's the thing. You know, that's the thing. Get the front kick to the face. It was not full on, but it, it connected. But also strikes. Now I think about hands, hand strikes. Didn't really connect yet. But you know, if two fighters really, you know, uh, respect 
to foul on the other guy, then you most of the time have a situation like that in the first round. But we saw that Leonorio, suddenly he came closer and closer and closer, you know, he starts to find the region as opponent. That's the whole trick in fight. You need to start working harder though. Because otherwise you're going to get a, a warning by the referee, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two minutes in, this is more of a dance than fight. Now trying to pick up his feet, pushing action against the fed. And picking Whoa. up Mario and slamming him down. Beautifully done. Tried to stay on the side arm, but Mario went to good, put his knee right away in. Got him. And again, right back up to takedowns. They didn't last long on the count. You know, within the eyes of the judges, here we go again. There was takedowns on the count. Many times we see they are. That's a total of three takedowns now. And not for Norio. And again, he can't do anything with takedowns. So it might be they shouldn't count that. But it's not. It's a really weird book also. Well, it'll be a great book when it comes out. People are clamoring for the bus route and soy, you know. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea, man, yet. <laughs> we got to be in the wall with my daughter's up to go over. <laughs> Moved away? Yeah. And right, then you got the grandkids. See, it'll always be something. Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you got to be there. That, yep. that, that would be a tough one to come back from. Nario, again, we saw him miss a few seconds ago with that front kick. He looked like he's just about to get it measured. That's a low kick. Nice one. You, and uh, you know the reason why he fails is that he tries to move away from the low kick. And the only thing to do that is to shift your weight upwards. You know, you're going to be weightless for a moment. Then if you can get kicked at that moment, that's why you fall. Sometimes a fun thing to do is let your leg get kicked by a right low kick, then slam your upper body to the right, keep moving with the low kick, and add back fit. That might trick the opponent sometimes. You have to make sure that the opponent kicks with his shin and not with his foot, otherwise it's going to stay as reach. Re and again, that nice high kick there, it's there. It's, it's right now, it's getting on the defense, it's in, it's in range. When the defense won't be up, it's going to connect. Seconds. Vivo's corner telling him to pick it up. He's got to take this round. Reed is out for a left, and that was a, more of a hook than a real punch. Yeah, it was, it was a hook, but it started on the jaw, so it didn't have any speed. It couldn't develop any speed. Seconds of round two. There it is. One more to go between these flyweights. There you see Tidemar Honorio and Alexis Vila. The green going back to the respective corners. And the action boss in that last go. round. Double leg to the side. Look. Whoop. Very nicely done. But right away, Honorio he puts his left knee in there. And uh, now Vila knows. I have to watch out here. Norio right away start attacking, which gave him space to get back up on his feet. I would think Vila's behind now. Even though he's got the semi uh, the takedowns, the three takedowns, are they really going to count as much? I don't know. If you really have to start counting strikes, and not, as, not many land, then you should count the strikes that almost land, I would say. Right? I agree. And as we know, I can't. This would be the broken record, but it's always that way. And I understand the frustration these guys fight. They do their game plan. They think they're winning the fight. But if they don't finish it, then it's always, not always, but most of the time it's a flip of the coin. You don't know what judge, like you say. You get credit for the take. I know the fact that it was just they went to the ground briefly and Sotomar get it right back up. Yep. Yep. Vila in the green here in the third round as we go. Nario, who has just missed and missed kicks. Hello, 
kick with a nice low kick though. Just a minute ago, full chin. He has thrown several of those. This fight would be over kind of high kick if he could have just landed it. Yeah, you see Villa really want to close this as he needs to take out. He knows if he can take this fight more time to the ground, keep it a little bit on the, the ground, maybe he's going to favor his way. Oh, look at that. And from the ground we go for the third time. I thought he was going to go right into a submission the way he set that up. I think no, he looks like he was ready. Yeah. There we go. Arm mark attempt. Oh, he's got it. He loses. That was nice because he's right back. He looked at the arm. It wasn't close at all, but then he shifted his hips suddenly to the shoulder and became much closer. And you can see a smile there. We saw all the mouth guard of Villa there momentarily. He was acknowledging Hanario. And now he tries to cut down the cage and try to force the action against the fence. Nothing new in that time for Villa. Hanario doing a great job. Throwing out a really big right low kick just before that exchange. And he's defending the takedown the whole time. Now getting the head of Villa by shooting for his own takedown attempt. And keeps slipping that high kick out there. Does it's not come close to connecting most of the time, but it's been in effect his way of throwing a jab almost because it keeps Villa back on his heels. Yep, and it's on his defense, close to the head. If Villa forgets one time to put his head up, that could be a big problem. side here again from Norio moving away from the takedown and from the striking of course halfway down last round you see he's doing that more you know grabbing that kick pretty much pushing to the side and countering with another kick like the third time he did this oh he stepped the field goes like ah I'm not gonna go to the ground now Vila says let's get up Vila may be thinking knockout at this time. I don't know how confident he is that he would be ahead on a card. And it goes back to the ground. Yep, that's another take down. That's one total now. But again, nothing's happened so far. He can't do anything with the take down. That's the problem. By the way, we're here in uh, Florida. Elbows to the top of the head are also illegal here. And in striking positions, uh, striking position kicks to the knees are illegal as well. It's the only little change, two little changes they have here in the MMA world. So now we're approaching a minute to go in this fight. Like this, especially with the lighter weight guys, they used to go out that no one landed a 
real strong punch or kick in this whole fight. Yeah, that is uh, kind of weird. But then you can see that both these guys respect each other a lot, you know? That's why they say a little bit too much on the outside. Outside to reach, that means from his opponent, from their opponent. There's Alexis Fila. Simon Renario. And they wait for the judges to make a call. Some of the highlights in this fight, there's a takedown, one of several, by Vila. Maybe he thinks that's what gave him the edge in this fight. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure, because uh, history tells us that that's always the case. You know, and uh, you can fight, but then again, it is what it is. Look, both these guys are here striking from the back, so you're going to go, okay. And then on top of that, submission attempt from the person on the bottom. To me, that counts as well. Now, in Japan, those rules, that counts as well. They, they, they have the same thinking that I have. But here they don't have that yet. So. So, Saitamar Hario, who knows about losing tough decisions, he's already lost one in his WSOF debut back in September. Looking for his ninth win, Hilo looking for his 14th career win. And it's hard, you know, you fight a really good wrestler, you don't want to start throwing big combinations because you set yourself up to be taken down. The judges have reached their decision. It's in the hands now of Jazz. Let's go to him with the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have completed three rounds of action and we will go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Hope Hector Gomez and Tim Meta score at 29-28, and Alicia Rodriguez scores at 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision. Alexis, the exorcist!